enough that is Cato that is the son of Lord Louis Mountbatten who is Peter Sellers who made the film about the son of blind King George of Cumbria and the son of Queen Victoria who had that child and who made the, who l was reared on the Isle of Wight <laughs> just offshore from Portsmouth ok so this guy is sired by Mountbatten he's an actor that is involved in all of the Hollywood cover ups and the Cato chap is an even bigger fraud because he's Japanese he's his manservant and he jumps on him all the time so that he can pretend that he's physically fit and mentally agile the Cato Institute is featured on this video made by President Obama and all of it is a cover up for the crimes of the Rothschilds as I'll show you in a few minutes Cato Institute YouTube scholars respond to the 2015 State of the Union a massive geopolitical lobbying Mr. movement Speaker, Mr. Vice President members of Congress my fellow Americans we allow ourselves to be sorted into factions and turned against one another so the Cato Institute scholars respond to the 2015 State of the Union he's called Bari Satoru which is in the Bible <laughs> yeah he is not an American citizen every time they're in a crisis about the owners of the world he is wheeled in to cover up the crimes of the Rothschilds and it's the crimes of the Rothschilds that I want to talk to you about so you've got a massive Cato Institute to cover up the crimes of the American Republic who never gets a life all of its taxes go to the crown in Britain that's why it's called the Empire State <laughs> okay the Cato bit is a cover for the boardrooms in the Rothschilds dynasty as you now appreciate okay I'm gonna teach you how to do this before they take me out so go to anywhere on the internet and type in company check okay company check you'll get what looks like a list of options and just click on the company check business register for the UK and this could be your local politicians the head of your local British Legion in my case the head of the local British Legion is a massive fraudster that's Alistair Hutton his wife was the Queen of the Quangos uh, Deirdre Hutton she's not in the news now since I began to hit on them for all of their crimes against the people used to be the head of the Borders Health Board <laughs> a really efficient scamster she was able, able to take land from the aristocracy in this region where the Peel Hospital was based and that's not the Peel that emancipated the slaves these guys are all for slavery it works entirely for them company check okay you've seen me do this with John Patterson I hope your able pupils unlike John Patterson <laughs> he always gets confused okay hit Rothschild up in the top box there and you'll get 290 directors I'm on to the page that covers 30 to 40 okay click on 291 and that is a hyperlink so it gives you directors number 1 to 10 and at the bottom of that we've got Hannah Rothschild who admires the war criminal that is uh, Tony Blair's spin doctors uh, and we've got the Russian Tsar there's Hannah Mary 
with the affiliation to uh, Portillo. Oh, sorry, we're going to get right. flooded yeah, with ads. Walk upon you when Isn't that clever that they can do that on their company check internet as the only way to keep their secrets? Let's start again. Right, Rothschild in the singular okay it gets you 151 companies 291 directors 26 sole traders and umpteen European companies okay that's off to the right so we click on directors and this time we're more careful about not clicking on the ads and what we do is we scan to the bottom so we can go to page two so Hannah if you look up Hannah Rothschild on the internet you'll find the videos about her being strongly supportive of Peter Mandelson the war criminal and the war profiteer in Iraq where they killed two million innocents so that the oil wealth could be theirs okay she likes that she thinks it's a lovely policy and that the Mandelson character is one of our most jocular politicians he's taking the piss out of the war dead and she knows it look how many companies she's got this is much more interesting the links to the Cato Institute the American quizzling puppet president and everything that happens in the Queen's bedrooms and in Mount Bat Batten's bedrooms and in Mount Batten's profiteering life because he tried to muscle it into Prince Philip's drug running triumvirate and he got topped for it by the IRA funded from the South Pacific from the narcotics wealth that Prince Philip and the triumvirate had by that time accumulated next page there's the Tsar Tsar Rothschild Nikolaevich next page gets you down to people that are interesting. I think this is the one I'm tracking down here. It is Mr. Edmund de Rothschild, registered at Swithings Lane. Swithings Lane, that is the Bank of England. <laughs> okay, let's have a wee look. So we go there, we find him, and then I explain the links to Cato and the Cato Institute and all of the cover ups later on. I'm just going to sit down by the window and read it from what I wrote down the other evening when I was studying this for the first time. It's shocking. This man is now 99 years old. Edmund de Rothschild, 901-987-019. Registered address, NM Rothschilds and Sons, New Court, St. Swithin Lane, London, EC4N8DE. Okay? What we now do is scan down a wee bit, be very careful that you do not hit an ad, and what we can do is look for his interlocking directors. And I'm just going to sit down at this point and lead you through the links that take us into the diver diversions and all of that expense that the president goes to, <laughs> that the geopolitical manipulators go to, that Hollywood and the movie makers go to, to cover up the le legitimacy of Queen Victoria's only legitimate child that is the son Marcos Manuel of uh, Queen Victoria and blind King George of Cumbria and that is the being there film that Peter Sellers made okay it's very difficult to find it on the internet you can't get access to it unless you're prepared to pay and because they've rendered me penniless I cannot afford, afford to pay for the evidence that Peter Sellers in everything he does is laughing at the tyranny that prevails in our world and the financial services crimes as you can predict already are massive so hit on directors now and you get the interlocks with this person and I'm just going to sit down at the window 
and read out what I wrote down the other night and the links to Cato will become obvious over time he's got thousands of interlocks <laughs> and he interlocks to NATO's armies to field marshals to heads of the media and all of the usual suspects okay and he's registered in the same street as the Bank of England because they are the world owners and that for them is a massive joke the last video I made was on the links to the Paris Texas film and the pop band Travis and the links to the Travis actor appearing in the Godfather movie it's a massive ultra expensive commitment for the world to cover up their massive financial services crimes okay and if you have a look if we went back and we have a look at structure let's do that first so we're going back to Edmund de Rothschild's business register and there's the options you have you can get the summary he's got Zippo at the bank as things stand but there is the tab for structure now this takes you back to war crimes treaties that were signed in 1947 if you look closely enough and that is around the time that they with the Balthers in league with Winston Churchill were able to partition Israel they gave Harry Truman his two million pound bung he's quite happy then to sign off Israel and to dismember Palestine and all of the people that are planted on Facebook to protect Palestine ever since it's pathetic the whole world spends its time diverting attention from something that happened all those years ago and nobody is aware of any of the financial crimes that these bastards commit relentlessly against the people but I'm going to tell you that patiently okay so this is the structure of these companies okay the first thing I noticed is the Jewish Memorial Council has raised equity of £500,000 from its issued share capital commitments of Zippo <laughs> that's a typical entrepreneurial example of how to create wealth out of nothing but cheating and fraud okay <laughs> let's keep going down until we get to the settlements for 1947 the Jewish lads and girls brigades that's the equivalent of the guides and the brownies and all of the people that tie into those church roof jokes about the goblins and all of the icons for religion that are part of this massive mind control operation there's another triumph for the shareholders okay uh, and where's the one that caught my eye Elder Associates Limited Rothschild Continuation this is a nice little earner 174 million pounds from the issued share capital that was worth 13 million as a flotation and there down the right now you're beginning to see the cabals and groups that actually own this okay so Robeson 1955 settlement a little bit further up I think is the dissection of how they have carved up now it must be further down the page okay so that's the shareholder breakdown and there's a list a full list here we are okay so this is how many shares and their value when they were released and the ownership that this one director has on that so he's got 50% over 50% ownership of one of the Rothschild's companies on the shareholdings listings here okay and that was Rothschild's continuation holdings AG I believe the AG label is a Swiss affiliation but I may not be correct on that okay and what we've got if we keep going down we'll find the war settlements and the treaties made by the war crimes in inquests and you know 
how the Freemasons and the world owners manipulate that. So you've got massive insurance companies, Eagle Star, Rothschild Bank, Eagle Star, Prudential Client. Have I, have I told you the story about the Prudential people in Kelso, my hometown, who were assessors for the bomb damage in London? Basically, it's a license to print money. None of the elite places in London are bombed by treaty. Yeah, when we've heard about Oxford, Cambridge and Buckinghamshire being immune in that way. If you've got a slightly twisted uh, insurance inspector who's prepared to say that something has been badly damaged by a Nazi bomb, <laughs> yeah, then you can get a packet like the Levison inquiry. It's ever so ruthless. HSBC Global Custody Nominee UK Limited. Yeah. 1,459 shares at 10 pence a throw. Goodness knows what they're worth now. I've shown you the trillions that all of the profiteers at the HSBC have. That includes Captain Mainwaring's relatives in the joke. And the Abdawali character that led to the beheading in Woolwich. Rensburg client nominees, State Street nominees, First Court. So I cannot see on that what I was looking at on my other computer for the 1947 and 1955 settlements. So there's the 1955 Robeson settlement. Uh, but the one for 19... Ah, there we are. A.G. de Rothschild, 1947 settlement. So everything that happens at the Treaty of Versailles and all the carving up of all the treasures and all the reparations and all of the monies that they had to retrieve from both sides as they bankrupt every participant country in the global war that consumed every country on our globe into a debt pool run by these bastards okay I'm gonna sit down now that I've shown you that I'm gonna turn the computer off so the screen does not bleach and I'm gonna read you more of what this guy with the little French romantic affiliation Edmund de Rothschild has done to our country in his 99 year lifespan <laughs> Okay, and the Cato joke will be explained in due course. Right then, this is me again. If you find me dead in the ditch, you sort of know who's done it. <laughs> it could be almost anybody on our globe, because the peer pressure is so great that every local council is corrupted, every local community is corrupted, <laughs> every local newspaper is corrupted every local law court is corrupted and all of the local representatives fear to talk to me because I know exactly what their role in life is and how it is all designed to dismember society's capability okay so I've talked about in brief the registration of Edmund de Rothschild at St Swithin's Lane. Okay, they've got Zippo at the back there. He's 99 years old, born in 1916. That's when they brutalised Ireland, and they had the the uh, massacre on the rugby pitch at Croke Park because the Irish did not want to fight in another global conflict, but the Brits made them do it and he did it by shooting down sportsmen on a sports field in a very melodramatic gesture. The other wars they start with bombing places like Pearl Harbour and all of it is designed in, adv in advance to pull in as many countries as they can bankrupt in the one concurrent regime. Yeah, that's Axis, Allied, all of them are at the same murderous and genocidal trough. Okay? So this guy has lived through World War One, but he's too young to speak then. So he's innocent at that stage. World War, War Two 
would be very much in his directorial hands. Okay, uh, all of the companies now are resigned, and there are, or I thought they were, until I found the listing. So there's the Jewish Memorial Council, the Jewish Lads Girls Brigade, the Rothschild Continuation Limited, NM Rothschild Limited, Rothschild Trust Corporation Limited, Royal Artillery Museums Limited. They make an art of the treasures that they take from other people's countries as they kill other people's citizens. Nitu Alfred McAlpine, Exbury Trees Limited, another shrubbery joke. The Christian Cross, they just keep rolling it out and knocking the nails in and having a laugh right <laughs> over the page. Edmund de Rothschild continued, RNPFN Pensions Management Limited, Royal Artillery Museums Limited, Interlocks to Bentley, that's the Bentley car magnets, the Cohens, the High Priests of Israel, and the Baron Cohen sideshows. Yeah, Sir Peter Astaire, Ezra Lazarus, you remember the man with the leprosy? that El Cid was allowed to talk to and Lazarus the blind leper was able to identify El Cid because of his decency and his massively uh, supportive campaign for the Christianity fraud in Spain <laughs> where they are as fraudulent as you can be about religious fraud and the pilgrimages that you need to pay King Juan Carlos for to get on his elite train across the Terrace and right across the Pyrenees and all of the peoples in the South Pacific have all of their treasures in those art galleries and religious churches. Right then, uh, links to the Gladstones, links to Tim Montague, that's the Dukes of Buccleuch name, the Livingstons, the Kemp's, that my family are married into in sub-Saharan Africa. Rabbi, Rabbi Dr. Abe Levy, that's the Levy and McRae dynasty, that are also involved in the leadership team in the Old Jewish Testament. The Marshalls, the Mars Hill joke, Ed Leopold de Rothschild, Miller, Howard Stephen Harris, the Dunn characters, that is the Butcher Jones actors, yeah, uh, Gilbert families, Rossiters, you remember the Rossiter that was in the BBC comedy, Rabbi Rayner, that's the cover for Lord Rayner of Ukraine, who runs Crown Oil as a scam, and when you ring in and ask them where they get their oil from, they have no idea, because there is no oil, they just sell coupons. That is Cyril Smith's constituency and Lord Markham of Ukraine, whose real name is Rayner before he gets his lordship. Lord Swaveling, Montgomery Wilson, the Mahlers, the German uh, musicians, Ray Percy Scott, the Scots of Notting Hill again, company directors and Temple doing all of the laundering. Uh, Michael Paul Marx, the Marxes that crashed the Co-op Bank, the Anglo-Irish banks and got away scot-free as the new owners of the Co-op Banks pretend that they have a drug addiction like the boss at the Toronto Stock Exchange which is one of the most corrupted on the globe. globe. Soameses take you into the Churchill families, Noel's Wilmot Sitwells, more Prime Ministers, Lord Charles Eric Alex Hambro, Sir Fred Corby, Mr Rod Pennington Baker Bates, Hambro again, the Honourable Alex Robert Hambro, Beatley, Morrisons, Hughes, Jonathan West Westcott that keeps coming up on every company that even John Patterson can find quickly and he keeps coming up with Mervyn King or whatever he's changed his name to
for respectability reasons. That's the boss at the Bank of England after Eddie George bailed out. Eddie George is such a common name that I cannot yet find him. Okay, Nigel Higgins. So Anthony, that's not the Higgins that resigned from Durham University because of the peer pressure that I've imposed on him as a thief from British students. So Anthony Michael Vaughan Saltz, Baron Eric Allen. I used to know an Eric Allen in the insurance industry in the borders, <laughs> but I'm sure that's nothing to do with him. Robert David de Rothschild. Eh, F.M. Guthrie. This is the Guthrie and the links to the N.M. Rothschild Bank that we talk about in almost every video. That's the Guthrie that is the field marshal for NATO. And all of the time that he's in the House of Lords as a Tony Blair socialist life peer, he is on the board of the Rothschild Bank that runs the show and brutalises the Balkans and Iraq and then eventually Afghanistan, Lord Armstrong of Ilminster, Lord Toombs of Brails, uh, Anthony Michael Fry, Mr. Benoit Marie Pierre, the Pierre joke, that is the Pierre St. Peter joke about the non-existent Christian saints and the joke that the Conservatives use at the Brighton Pier every time they have a conference. Bernard Ian Manners, Ma Myers, you remember Mike Myers, the spy who shagged Madonna and sings in that song about it? Gervais Tracy, Ricky Gervais, third class degree in physiology from University College London who becomes the office magnet and makes the film jokes about the museums in New York featuring the man who sold Palestine for two million quid the Gehrings, that's Orla Gehring yeah? that is not the one from the news agencies that reports the Middle East crimes Kate Aidy, who's on the directorate in Eccleston Square in London for those massive crimes against the people that's Orla Girling the warmonger with the Irish accent and that's the Ireland with all of the premeditated sectarian problems because these teams create them for diversions like the Cato Trust and the Cato movies featuring Peter Sellers the illegitimate son the bastard of Lord Mountbatten who was killed by his own families because they're so ruthless he's the one that introduced Queen Elizabeth II to Prince Philip the mass murderer on the quiet as head of MI6 and the British Navy for three drug laundering decades Christopher Mark Blunt Dave Lawrence Harris the neighbours of the Rothschilds, the need to launch Rolf Harris into popular culture, the Jake the Peg jokes, the Michael Moore prize in the raffle at the fundraiser in the town of Kelso, where the ship is coming out the back of the art gallery as a joke about how they initiate world wars and Michael Moore's massive holdings in the P&O scandal the families there have a horrible cancer and I believe they might be my next door neighbours and their in-laws are so I'd better watch what I'm saying yeah everybody knows that I'm decent and insightful but none of them will relent and come forward even in talk about their little bit of crime I don't want them to stop that I want to start some peer pressure on the really big villains that are stealing from our children and over time all of it will fall apart and the world will be taken back to decency. The other alternative is the nuclear extinction threat that sometimes these people, you can see how bimboish Obama is when you see that sheepish grin on his profiteering face, yet he's just a plant 
like all of the people around him in that little video clip. Okay? Oliver Letwin, Paul James Duffy, the Merricks, that is the elephant man joke, a financial dynasty interlocking to the Rothschilds at this level of our society. Mr. Penelope, this is another cross-gender joke, Mr. Penelope Jane Hamilton Curtis. Russell, Philip Eddy, we've got an Eddy on the River Tweed that does some charitable scams. <laughs> uh, Mr. Timothy John Pennington Hancock, with no S on the end, may be part of the identity fraud and may be part of my family case. We have no way of knowing because they shield it from law enforcement. There is no obligation even to take a passport photo with you when you register your fraudulent ID on the company register. The Right Honourable Lord Norman Stuart Hewson Lamont, we know him. That is the one in the Orkneys that wants to make the Orkneys a tax haven and an oil industry vent for his billionaire status as the former Chancellor of our country under Mrs Thatcher's murderous and genocidal regime. Reuben Goldberg, Right Honourable Sir Frank Cooper, Anne Marie Sizer, N. M. Rothschild's secretaries, Kate Louise Booth, Sir Klaus Moser, also in his nineties, a joke about Santa Claus and Moses in the bull rush. Notice that I'm having to make my movies on top of a wicker basket since they began to crash me in the surveillance of all of my innocent activities in what used to be my own home but very soon half of it will be my wife's who is already going to inherit over a million pounds in real estate assets and she could enter the empty house of her brother for whom she works. It's a massive mansion in the Prime Minister's constituency of Whitney. It is almost totally empty and I'm not allowed to visit it or talk to any of their family because I understand all of their frauds and how they're asset stripping the dental sector. In league with Michael Heseltine and all of the criminals out of Baker Street that we mentioned in the earlier two videos that have gone global really quickly and are now shaming all leaders in every sector of our society including the university bosses okay so that was Klaus Moser <laughs> Sir George Christus Sir Robert Peter Gibbons the Right Honourable Lord St John St John of Fosley Royal Art Museums Brigadier Ian Harrison, Dr. Saul David, previous Baroness Rosalind Pat Ann Howell, Councillor Angela Cornforth, Evelyn Janet Sharman, Field Marshal the Lord Vincent, never heard of him before, but that is another Field Marshal for NATO who never leave the peace loving countries alone all over the globe they brutalize them for personal gain and for corporate sequestrations of everything that was put in place by that country and its democratic funding streams all over the globe on a weekly basis General Sir Alex George Hamilton Harley General Sir Harry Tuzzo General Sir Martin Farndale General Sir Richard Brooking Trout, Trout, Rick Friedrich Vincent, and Jim J. Granville Chapman, Nito Alfred McAlpine Limited, Dr. Peter George Dickens. Do you get it? With Shakespeare and Dickens and all the stuff about Enid Blyton and all the writings by all those inner circle people including the popes in Rome about British culture and British history and the history of the decent king that was King Arthur who is totally a myth 
and is part of the religious fraud for 2,000 years. Dr. Richard Keith Baldwin. Now I could give the game away on Cato here, when I've still got some batteries I think I should. Sir Tadao Cato, 1992-96. It's as sick as that. Four years service on the boards and all of a sudden he needs covered up. He will have different IDs, he will be all over the business register as a fraud in those different IDs. Uh, and I will find out more about him over time. But you've got the launch of a massive geopolitical institute that engages the whole of the parliamentary chambers or the equivalent in America. And all of them are fraudsters. You have to be a millionaire to get picked for political office in America now. And everything that they do is a fraud against their people. And basically, they are still slaves to the Crown Templar because of all the treaties and the deals that were struck when the Empire State was openly declared as a joke. That's the Empire State that is New York. Okay, Exbury Trees, R. Ewing, Edmund de Rothschild, Nick David de Rothschild, Nicholas David de Rothschild, Exbury Enterprises Limited, current secretaries, Thomas Egger, secretaries see the video I made on my innocent wife's career and how every time she joins a company it just happens to become fraudulent or to have already been fraudulent and she expands her training base. Thomas Egger Secretaries Limited. Mr. Terence Albert Drew. I worked for a Drew on the river. He's a Freemason. I got the sack a couple of times because I turned up late because I was trying to stop Syria from being brutalised the morning that the weapons inspector's results were released and the Freemasons in the region scammed me. They delayed the job by one day because they did not show up when I was in Melrose expecting them to be there. The following day they rang in 10 minutes after the commitment to meet them and the deadline that my boss was given to tell me about it was overrun and I was talking to friends of Gordon Bowden that just happened to be involved in the copyrights that are the transport vehicles that take nuclear weapons around the world. That's our secret services man, M. He profits from the trading of the weapons because he's got the patents on the carriage materials that they use for them, which is why he understands the crime of Bread and Camp and his empire out of the Republic of South Africa and they drink with him in the same pub. I now understand that they are firm friends and when I wrote to the whole of Froome District Council to try and expose that fraud in their region, in their jurisdiction, none of them had the spirit to reply. <laughs> okay, that's M. We're not allowed to tell you who he is. Uh, right. Subsidiaries Rothschild Concordia SES, Rothschild's Reserve Limited, Rothschild's Gold Limited, Rothschild's Credit Management Limited, Five Arrows Finance Limited, Investors Perceptions Limited, Lane Bridge Holdings Limited, Rothschild's Limited, Rothschild's Nominees Limited, Rothschild's Continuation Finance PLC, The Shield Trust Limited, Subsidiaries NM Rothschild's Holding Limited, Walbrook Assets Limited, Rothschild's Employee Trans something, New Court Property Services, Rothschild's Holdings Limited, Rothschild's Construction Finance Holdings Limited, Second Continuation Limited, Rothschild's Trust Corporation Limited, Ultimate Parent, <laughs> Ultimate Parent, Rothschild Trust Nominees Limited. Okay, so that's one man, one man aged 99 and the links to all of the cover-ups for one of his directors that take in the American presidency, the whole of the American government and the Cato geopolitical movement that is an active movement created when all of these jokers are talking about stealing gems 
out of the Swiss Alps. That is the Cluzo movies. All of the movies that Peter Sellers made as a buffoon are to cover up the illegitimacy of him and his siring by Mountbatten, which is why Greg Hallett is such a sensational character when he's really getting the truth out about how the world has been tyrannised and taken over using these methods. It's all about what the Rothschilds do. Check out my previous videos on the university sector, the links to New Zealand, all of the massive links to the universities around the world uh, and the denial of the university bosses. It's not the university lecturers and the senior lecturers and the readers. If you get into the professoriate and you're in a political vent or you're in a financial vent then you are backed into a peer pressure corner that you need to steal from your students and the whole of the global citizenship base because that is why you get promoted in the first place and I've mentioned the profiteers at Oxford, Cambridge and in the MRC yeah I believe that I would highly respect the man who accused me of defamation he's a decent character I don't have any crimes to pin on him but he's obligated to line up with his fellow conspirators in the ownership team in those massive universities that's Colin Blakemore and to call me an expert in defamation everything that I've got is backed up by the corporate details and I have nothing to pin on Colin Blakemore but I have better things to do with my time yeah he got embroiled in scandals about the use of animals in experimentation to make new drugs I believe that that is justified but that's only my opinion yeah and when you get drugs that save lives it is a really important thing but when you use drugs to make profit for corrupted doctors and corrupted civil servants then it is really illicit and that is what I'm hitting on okay I'm gonna stop now because that is the story of 99 year old uh, Edmund de Rothschild registered in St Swithin's Lane where the Bank of England is <laughs> isn't it a massive triumph for fascism and one family that has the might to take the world to civilization in a fortnight if only I could give it a conscience that's you Hannah yeah and all your little school girly laughs about Tony Blair's war criminals please 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 get in touch